Hello everyone and welcome to a new video about Microsoft's newly released. When I say newly released, I mean actually in the hands of people who own the devices, which is a key thing we'll come on to later, but we're all talking about Microsoft's Nokia Lumia Denim, Micro Nokia Soft, I get confused. I still call it Nokia because mine is a Nokia Lumia 930 and that is still branded Nokia, but of course newer devices which come with Denim already on it are branded Microsoft because Microsoft bought Nokia not that messy business that happened but basically this is an update to Windows Phone for Nokia devices it's a new firmware it has a bunch of new features and we're just going to go through a bunch of them now using this fabulous picture-in-picture -picture technology for those who don't know by the way uh, this video is being recorded in 4k using the new Lumia Denim update now as you can see first of all let's just go through the Windows Phone 8.1 features just so we don't get ourselves confused uh, between what is Denim and what is Windows Phone 8.1 update because the two are kind of branded as the same thing. Uh, first of all we have Cortana which is a Windows Phone update one thing however there is a Denim exclusive feature which we'll come on to later but Cortana is coming to more countries through this update. Also a feature which is part of Lumia uh, Windows Phone I should say update and not really a Denim feature is uh, live folders so as you can see I can drag some icons into a live like folder a bit like you can do on Android already this is a pretty neat feature because it basically just means that you can uh, you can add a name onto the folder as well so for example I can give this a name uh, so this is a denim demo that is going tits up uh, Ah, there's a character limit. Okay, it was going to say tits up, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, you can drag little into little folders like that. Like I say, you can do that on Android, but I think it's done really well here on Windows Phone. But again, that's not really a Denim feature. It's actually a Windows Phone 8.1 update feature. Another thing which is exclusive to Windows Phone 8.1 update is Apps Corner, which allows you to select certain apps which you can then give to say a child or something like that so say if i'm happy for little timmy to order some domino's pizza i uh, don't want him to do banking actually but san andreas is fine because i don't care about corrupting the minds of our youth and we'll give him access to say this hell cars feature as well and what that then lets me do is if i press the little go button down here i can then see a locked screen with only those apps on it you can't get out of this and basically that only allows me to access those particular apps so for example i can go on the el cars app or i can go on the san andreas app which unfortunately for me has not downloaded yet so you won't be playing that oh we can obviously order some pizza from our good friends at domino's who are in no way sponsors of this video go buy domino's and you can get back out of it again by just holding down the power button and then you can swipe right on the screen that comes up there and that will bash you back to your lock screen now if we go into our notification center and into settings also we've got a vpn option which again is uh, new to windows phone 8.1 update this isn't again a really a denim feature but it's a windows phone 8.1 update feature another really cool thing about uh, windows phone 8.1 update again not exclusive to denim this but you can actually get a much improved version of internet explorer which tries to emulate browsers from other phones like android and iphone so that's why you can see there twitter for android available in the play store at the top but it just makes it look a lot neater whereas the uh, old version used to just give you like the desktop version all scrunched down so that's pretty cool so let's take a look at some denim exclusive features the most exciting of which is uh, something called hey cortana and this is basically a way of being able to talk to your phone without having to actually uh, uh, pick it up or touch it in any way so you can just say hey cortana and she'll pick it up now as you can see from the video here I'm trying to set Hey Cortana up here and it's just not um, working very well at all it doesn't pick up my voice properly it just keeps saying sorry I didn't catch that uh, it took quite a few attempts to actually get this to work uh, so I as you can see here I tried it multiple times two three four times just to get it pick it up the first time eventually it does start picking me up as you can see and you have to go through it a couple of times just to be able to uh, you know get get it to actually understand you and recognize you so eventually I could actually get it set up as you can see 
and it did eventually understand me but it was quite a frustrating process and not as nice as I thought it would be. Cortana does a lot of thinking as well she's not always the best but uh, we then get an example of how to use it so I do give this a try so hey Cortana and it does pick me up and then you can say uh, remind me to buy some milk which it did understand quite well and when would I like to be reminded so I told her in no uncertain terms tomorrow at 10 o'clock and she said buy milk once tomorrow at 10 o'clock so that particular little example which I'm sure was uh, well programmed in there works okay uh, but then I decided to give it a bit more of a real world test so what I did next was decide to send our good friend Sheepeep a little text message so I asked Cortana hey Cortana I then said to her, uh, send a text message to my good friend Dominic Lamb. I picked him up and then I chose which account because I had two numbers for him for some weird reason. And then I tried to send him a message. So I tried to tell him, uh, hello Dom, it's you're in the video. He said here in the video instead of you. I said I hope you're having a lovely day at work because I'm not actually working. The outcome wasn't really what I said actually, uh, it got it right sort of but it kind of looks like I'm a mentally ill sort of person so that didn't go very well at all. Uh, I am mentally ill by the way. Uh, anyway, I then decided to add a little bit onto that to say you fucked that up completely which turned into you folks up to completely so even though for a moment if you saw it down at the bottom there it did sort of understand what I was saying and then decide to go hmm you can't have meant that and then went on something other tangent so yeah I didn't send that to him because yeah what the hell but hey Cortana is just one little feature of denim which is a nice thing to have but realistically you're not going to use it in the real world this on the other hand is the new and improved Lumia camera and apart from a little bit of an interface change where it's got a few new little bleeps and blobs and uh, it does some nice little extras on the interface I mean you've got all the usual things for example you can record video and you have got some really nice advanced features like exposure and you can also change other things but basically the really exciting part of this is the recording which you can now do on certain devices like the Lumia 930 up to 4k and that's why this video or at least my bit of it is in 4k I recorded some sample test footage which we're going to have a quick look at now so as you can see this is 4k video and uh, this is just a street here and a sign which uh, says uh, wankers only on it for some reason <laughs> those youths I also did a little bit of recording uh, on uh, a bus just where it was wobbling around a lot just to test the uh, stabilization uh, just to see how that was. It's a little bit grainy in, in dark in low light so that's a little bit disappointing there to be honest with you. There's also some photographs that I've taken here as well for example this is one here of Manchester at night uh, a couple of little other photographs that I've taken it's actually a lot quicker to take photographs the response time is actually much greatly improved so that's really good and also the quality of the photos has improved a lot as well they've done a lot to the algorithms and stuff like that that's a big word isn't it so that's all very good anyway that's a quick look at Lumia Denim was it worth the wait? seriously these things need to be updated much quicker and if it wasn't for the carriers who like to sit on there all day and keep hold of these things then we would be much the better for it thankfully in the UK it's not as bad as it is over in the good old US of A I believe where people like Verizon are just basically sitting on these like hens waiting for eggs to hatch for some reason thankfully over in the UK O2 who I am with have kindly decided to release it and that is why this video is here but again we're not all so unfortunate but even in the UK where Windows Phone is is a little bit more widely adopted than it is in the USA uh, it's still taking a long time for people to get these updates and again I think it's just because they don't really want to invest any time or money in it and I just don't understand why the carriers have to get involved I mean please just let Microsoft send us these updates I mean what harm does it do anyway that's just a final thought if I was Jerry Springer or at least a bald version of Jerry Springer but I'm not anyway off on a tangent thanks for watching ta-da